Man, this is a really, really bad case, guys. This is really, really bad. Um, and I, I want to, you know, people should share this story to Blair White, for example, because I know Blair White has some really, had some really infuriating comments. Remember when I did the video about her calling out Steven Crowder for being a fraud? She posted on an Instagram story some bogey-ass trash about, like, oh, if you think you need to be anti-gay to be a conservative, you're a relic of the past. What are you talking about, man? That's the that's the Republican Party. And she doesn't seem to understand that. So, uh, it says, Trump admin argues transgender workers aren't protected by civil rights law in new Supreme Court filing. It says, uh, the Trump administration on Friday filed a brief with the Supreme Court arguing that federal civil rights laws do not protect transgender workers. The filing relates to the case of Amy Stephens, a transgender woman who's fired at the funeral director of RG and GR Harris Funeral Homes Inc. Uh, in Detroit after she told owner Thomas Rost, Rost that she planned to transition from male to female to be representing herself as a woman while at work. Um, in March 2018, the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled the funeral home had violated Title VII anti-discrimination laws in the decision, with the court ruling that, quote, discrimination on the basis of transgender and transitioning status is necessarily discrimination on the basis of sex and therefore protected under Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Um, and, you know, they're basically arguing that, no, it's not, because basically it's talking about how it's like, oh, no, it's biological sex, uh, which is pretty insane to me. So what, you know, the Trump administration is doing, and this is hilarious, you know, like, uh, what was he like? Was he the first Republican? I think Trump was like the first Republican to, I don't know, recognize pride or something like that. But he does all this, like, bougie-ass shit. And then people, people who are interested in him basically being this guy, like, you know, Sticks, Hex, and Hair, or not Sticks, sorry, uh, Razor Fist. It looks so damn similar. Uh, Razor Fist was doing that in his debate with Kyle Kalinske. Blair White does it nonstop. It's like Shoe on Head did in her video where it's like, oh, he was holding up a flag that had the, the you know, the, the pride colors on it, you know, the LGBT pride flag. And then it's like he's doing all this shit, and it's like, are you stupid? I remember at one point, they were just straight up trying to erase the identity of transgender people in gen like just in general as a, as a concept, uh, which was insane to me. But, you know, people who think that this administration or Donald Trump is like, he's not like the typical conservative who's anti-trans or anti-gay or any of this stuff. He recognized pride. Really, bro? Like, look at what he's actually doing through his actions. Dude. This is a, the most serious you can get to. You're talking about discrimination based on, you know, becoming a transgender person, losing your job, being able to be fired because you transitioned. That is serious, dude. And so people like Blair White and idiots like that need to understand that this is the real Donald Trump here when it comes to these kinds of issues.